Hello, readers. My name is Miss Jill. I'm so excited to be learning with you today. Before we get started, let's say our hello song. Hello, readers. Hello, readers. How are you? How are you? I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to teach you. Hello, you, you, and you. Today, we are going to be explorers. We are going to explore landmarks from across the country. Look at this word, landmark. It is a compound word, which means it is made up of two smaller words. Can you see the two words that make up landmark? That's right, land and mark. A landmark is an object, building, or something in nature that is important and easy to recognize. Landmarks are famous places. Can you think of a landmark right here in North Carolina? I thought of the Blue Ridge Parkway in our North Carolina mountains, the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse out in the Outer Banks, and the State Capitol Building in Raleigh. Have you visited any of those landmarks? Awesome. We are going to learn and think about other U.S. landmarks through a text. And we know that readers are always learning new information from both the words in the text and the images in a book. We'll do that together today. Today we're reading this book, Landmarks USA by Libby Barrington. We will read about several landmarks across the country. As we read, let's see what information we learn from both the text and the illustrations. When texts have illustrations like maps, photos, or drawings, we can closely examine, and examine them to learn more about the topic, which today will be landmarks. Are you ready, landmark explorers? Okay, let's read. A landmark is a building or place that is special. The United States has lots of landmarks. Take a look. After you read about a landmark, see if you can find it on this map. I'm going to stop here and think about what I have learned. Good readers stop and think about what they're reading and what they're seeing in the illustrations. The first part of the text let us know what a landmark is. Let's record what we learned on this chart. In the first column, we will list information that we learned in this book. In the next column, we will put a check if we learned that piece of information from the words in the text. If we learned the information from the illustrations or pictures, we'll put a check in this box. On these pages, I learned a landmark is an important or special building or place. I'm going to place that information right here in the first column. Hmm, did I learn that information from the words in the text or the illustrations? Oh, I learned it from the words. Right here it says, a landmark is a special, uh, sorry, a landmark is a building or place that is special. I will check the box under words. What else did I learn? On this page, I learned there are landmarks all over the United States. I'm going to place that information in the left-hand column too. Hmm, did I learn that information from the words in the text or the illustrations? Oh, I learned that from the illustrations. I see on the map of the United States there are lots of different landmarks, which tells me there are landmarks all over our country. I'm going to check the box under pictures. Now it's your turn. Let's keep reading, and as we read, you'll tell me what information you learn about each landmark. Make sure to listen to the words in the text for information and to examine the pictures and illustrations as well. So here we go. This green statue sits on an island. What is this landmark? It is the Statue of Liberty. Can you find the Statue of Liberty on the map? The Statue of Liberty is right here in New York City. People can go up into the statue. They can walk all the way up to the crown. 
they can see the city. Okay, landmark explorers, let's stop here and think about what we just learned. Take a moment to think, then say one thing you learned about the Statue of Liberty. Ready? Great listening! I heard someone say, people can climb to the top of the statue. Let's place this fact in the first column. Now, where do we learn this information? Was it from the words in the text or the illustrations? When I give you the signal, I want you to tell me if we learned it from the text or the pictures. Ready? One, two, three. Exactly right! We learned this fact from the text. Right here, the text says people can walk all the way up to the crown, which tells me visitors can go up to the top of this tall statue here in the crown. So now let's read some more. This tall building looks out over the city. What is it? It is the Washington Monument. Can you find the Washington Monument on the map? Oh, the Washington Monument is in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Let's stop again and think about what we just learned. Think for a moment, then say one thing you learned about the Washington Monument. One, two, three. Awesome! I heard someone say the Washington Monument is in Washington, D.C. Let's place this fact in the first column. Now, where did we learn this information? Was it from the text or the pictures? Tell me on three. One, two, three. Good! We learned this fact from the pictures. This illustration of the map shows us that the Washington Monument is here in Washington, D.C. Let's read on. The President of the United States lives and works there. What is it? It is the White House. Can you find the White House on the map? Look, the White House is also in Washington, D.C. So let's stop and think about what we learned about the White House. Think, then say one thing you learned about the White House. You all are knocking my socks off. I heard several landmark explorers say that the president lives at the White House. Let's add this fact to our chart. Now, where do we learn this information? From the text or the pictures? Tell me on three. One, two, three. Yes, we learned this fact from the text. Here, the text says, the president of the United States lives and works there. Good, now let's read some more. Look up, you will see a big arch. You can ride to the top and look out. What is it? It is the gateway arch. Can you find the gateway arch on the map? Hmm, the gateway arch is in the middle of the country, in St. Louis, Missouri. Now let's think about what we learned about the gateway arch. Think then tell me one thing you learned about the arch. Yes. One thing I heard was that the arch is in a big curved shape. Let's add this fact to our chart. Now where did we learn this information? Was it from the text or the pictures? Tell me on three. One, two, three. You got it. The gateway arch is in the shape that we see in this photograph. We can see it is a tall, curved structure. It is in the pictures. Okay, landmark explorers, let's read about one more landmark for today. Look across the bay at the big red bridge. What is it? It is the Golden Gate Bridge. Can you find the Golden Gate Bridge on the map? Oh, the Golden Gate Bridge is over here on the west coast of the U.S. in San Francisco, California. Now, what did we learn about the Golden Gate Bridge from this book? Think of something, then tell me. Amazing! I heard someone say that it is red. Let's add this back to our chart. Now, where did we learn this information? Was it from the text or the pictures? Tell me on three. One, two, three. 
You all sure are clever. I tried to trick you with that one. Some of you noticed we learned the Golden Gate Bridge is read from both the text and the picture. Here it says, look across the bay at the big red bridge. And in this picture, we can see that the bridge is a red color. We'll check both columns. Landmark explorers, you have examined the text and illustrations so closely today. Thank you for reading with me to learn new information about U.S. landmarks. We use the words in the text to learn about each landmark, and we also use the illustrations and pictures to learn information. Good readers pay close attention to both the words in the text and the illustrations to learn about a topic. See you next time, Landmark Explorers. Thank you.